when X-ray interact with the sample with the matter or atom or in some cases with electrons. So basically three phenomena happening. The third phenomena is basically related to XPS. We get XPS when X-ray interact with the matter. So let's discuss it in detail. The first case, the first phenomena is basically related to somehow that why XPS cannot detect hydrogen and helium because in these two elements the X-ray basically passes without interactions means the X-ray photon cannot interact with electrons. So basically there is no interactions so nothing happens and we get no results. Just the photon pass through the samples without any interactions, right? Let's see the second one. The second one is also important. When X-ray photon interact with electrons, so basically the electron also scatter in one direction and the photon also scatter in another direction. So basically photon lost some energy and this is we call uh, Compton scattering. Now the third phenomena is the basis of XPS. When the photons completely convert its energy to the core electron and the core electron eject from the samples. We know that the famous photoelectric effect equation, this is basically the X-ray photon energy and it is equal to the binding energy of that electron, this electron here, plus the kinetic energy of that photoelectron. So this is the famous equation here. So in this case basically the, 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 the photon energy is completely converted into the electrons here and this is basically the basis of the XPS and previously it was basically called the electron spectroscopy for chemical analysis.